Where there is an injury that may have damaged the median nerve, we need to set, test the sensation uh, for this. Median nerve sensory area covers the palmar surface of the thumb, the index finger, the middle finger, and the radial border of the ring finger. However, there's a large amount of overlap between the different nerves that supply the hand, and the only area that you can reliably say is only supplied by the median nerve is the palmar surface of the tip of the index finger. So if I was wanting to know whether a patient had damaged their median nerve, I would ask them if this felt the same as their index finger on the other side, and I would test the other side and alternate between the two to so that they could see whether there was a difference between them. Having tested this central zone of the median nerve innervation, I would then go on to test the whole area of the median nerve innervation in order to map out whether there are any sensory changes anywhere else to see if they have a partial median nerve injury. In terms of the motor function of the thumb, I would then ask them to put your thumb to your little finger and go down work your way down your finger. So here we can see the opponent's pollicis. If you hot, try and stop me from straightening your thumb and then you can test against resistance that the opponent's pollicis is working. We then want to, to test the function of FPL. So make an O like this for me. That's great. And then we want to test the, uh, the flexors, the FDP and FDS as we've discussed before. And then the wrist flexors as well. So if you can make a fist and cock your wrist up like that for me. Good. And relax.